Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. A former class scientist of ASML in the Netherlands suddenly returned to China with a killer weapon that can bypass the U.S. technology blockade. Dr. Lin Nen, a top engineer who participated in the development of EUV lithography machines at ASML, broke through a key technology in just three years after returning to China, replacing ASML's carbon dioxide laser with a solid-state laser to create China's own extreme ultraviolet. EUV light source. This progress directly threatens ASML's global monopoly. The Semiconductor Association of the United States urgently stated that China is catching up with a completely different technical path. The technical parameters of this breakthrough have been made public by the official paper of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Laboratory data show that its conversion efficiency has reached 3.42%, which is only one step away from mass production. In 2021, Dr. Lin Nen, a core scientist responsible for the development of EUV light sources, suddenly submitted his resignation and decided to return to China to join the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics. According to former ASML colleagues, the company's senior management tried to retain him with the position of technical director of China, but Lin Nan finally chose to return to China to tackle independent EUV technology. The paper published by Lin Nan's team in the third issue of Laser and Optoelectronics Progress in 2024 shows that they have completely jumped out of ASML's technical route. ASML's EUV light source relies on the carbon dioxide laser developed by SIMA in the United States, and the tin droplets need to be heated to 220,000 degrees Celsius to produce plasma. The Chinese team used a 1 micron solid state laser instead, and used the double pulse target technology to break the tin droplets into nanoscale particles, achieving extreme ultraviolet light emission at a lower temperature. Experimental data show that the laser plasma conversion efficiency of this new system reached 3.42%, which has exceeded the 3.1% record published by the Paul Scherer Institute in Switzerland in 2023. According to the ASML Technical Manual, the conversion efficiency of its commercial EUV light source needs to reach 5.5%. An insider of the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics revealed that an instantaneous efficiency of 4.2% has been observed in the latest laboratory tests, but the system stability still needs to be improved. ASML Chief Financial Officer Roger Dawson admitted at the second quarter 2024 earnings conference, China's progress in the solid-state laser path has exceeded expectations. According to the financial report data, the Chinese market accounted for 41% of ASML's revenue in the quarter, but due to the export restrictions of the Dutch government, the order of the 1950 IDUV lithography machine worth 120 million euros was forced to be cancelled. The SSMBUV solution of the Department of Physics of Tsinghua University, which cooperated with the Helmholtz Institute of Germany, uses a particle accelerator to generate stable extreme ultraviolet light and has completed the principal verification. 
This means that China is laying out the two technical routes of solid-state laser and steady-state microbeaming at the same time, while ASML only masters the former. Engineers from Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment Group confirmed that the 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine delivered in 2023 has integrated the domestic light source system test module. The U.S. Department of Commerce added three Chinese research institutions that cooperated with Lin Nan's team to the entity list updated in June. During a parliamentary inquiry, Dutch Foreign Trade Minister Lee Schreinemacher admitted that the country is negotiating with the United States to expand the scope of lithography machine export controls, and the restrictions may be extended to more mature of immersion lithography machines. According to the sales data of testing equipment released by Tokyo Electron in Japan, the number of electron beam detectors exported to China in the first half of 2024 surged by 278%. Martin van den Brink, former CTO of ASML, wrote on LinkedIn, it is more dangerous to achieve the same function with different technical paths than to simply imitate. SMIC's 2023 annual report disclosed that its Beijing factory has installed 10 domestic lithography machines for matching tests. Although the model is not explicitly mentioned, the Exima laser produced by Koi Hongyuan Company appears in the equipment procurement list, which is the key component of Lin Nan's team's technical route. In May 2024, German Zeiss suddenly announced that it would export 10 sets of EUV optical lens testing equipment to China. These devices can detect 0.1 nanometer mirror defects and ASML's EUV lithography machine lenses are made by size. Industry observers pointed out that this may be a reserve cooperation channel for China's self-developed lithography machines in the future. The metal oxide photoresist developed by Nanjing University passed verification in August 2024 and can replace Japanese products at the 28 nanometers process node. The person in charge of the material said that his team is working with Lin Nan Laboratory to develop special photoresists suitable for domestic EUV light sources and has completed three rounds of exposure tests. ASML stock price fell 4.2% in a single day on September 6, the largest drop in three months. The third phase of China's semiconductor bait fund has made it clear that 40% of the funds will be invested in core equipment such as lithography machines.